This is the second video for uh, programming your name in Scratch for the ECS assignment. In the previous video, you can see we have the bouncing effect on our J uh, using that forever loop and moving 10 steps. We have, again, that forever loop to spin ours on 15 degrees and change our color by 25. I'm going to stop this and just move this off to the side. And F, we're going to do something a little different with just to show you uh, we're going to again start our event when it's clicked. And we could easily do then our forever loop just like we have been doing. So we're going to come in and bring in our forever loop. Now uh, we could do the looks of this and we could say, you know what? Uh, we are going to change the color effect and change the size for that and let's grab a rotational one here as well let's go like this and like this and this time i'm going to come here to my control and actually i'm going to uh, delete this off i'm going to choose to do it a little differently now uh, because our program has already started we're going to come here to our inputs now and the one that I want is here, when key is pressed. And I'm going to duplicate this four different times. So I'm going to choose, let's say for this one, I'm going to make it my, let's do the arrows, my up arrow. For this one, I'm going to make it my down arrow. For this one, I want to do right arrow, and this one I'll make my left arrow as well. And you're going to see now, I'm going to do my click, which starts my program. But then when I hit my arrow, if I use the up arrow, I can change the color effect. The down arrow changes the size to this. The left arrow causes it to rotate, the right arrow causes it to rotate to the right. Now, I could also have done changing my color effect to negative 25 to bring back it, or changing my size by a negative 10 to bring it back down. But it's something, just another tool for you to play with as you're trying to decide uh, what to do with your name. And realize not everything has to be started with that when the green uh, flag is clicked event. The other thing to get you started is you can also come into Scratch here and come on the right side and you can choose your background. Uh, there's a list of preloaded backgrounds uh, that you can create uh, as well. Now, when it comes to sprites or backgrounds, you could take pictures or uh, draw something and import that graphic, whether it's in a digital program or taking a picture of it and then making it digital and bring in your own custom backgrounds and your own custom sprites. Simply the way that you're gonna do that is you can see here, you can choose one, you can paint one, you can surprise, or you can upload one. And again, you can do those same options right here. So you could find an image online, download it, uh, and then upload it here for to change. Uh, but for this assignment, this is just really for a chance for you to explore uh, how you might choose to do this and look at the program itself. Feel free uh, to try blocks that you see. You can't break it. Uh, all you're gonna do is get an error and uh, kind of have some fun and create your name animated in Scratch.